Hi guys, welcome to my videos. All right, we're going to take a look today at how we're going to tie some doggy knots. All right, there's four main knots we've got to do in dogging. That's the clove hitch, the bowline, the rolling hitch, and the sheep pen. Okay, so we're going to start off with the clove hitch. So the clove hitch is one of the most basic knots you can do. So when you're doing your clove hitch, you can start by throwing the load right over the load. You grab the tail end there, you roll it around that and you cross it over the other rope, just like that. And you're left with this gap here. You can just pull it through there and pull that on there. Okay, that's your clove hitch. All right, it's one of the most common knots you're going to use. All right, I'll just do that one again. So you throw your rope over. You roll it around there and cross it over like that. Cross it right over and go back over the top. And you can go through here. It comes up through this gap here. Right. Try and avoid going through there. Biggest mistake most people make. Go up through the back there. Just pull up there. Right. So that's your clove hitch. Now if you're going to do that on a vertical load, which is where a lot of people get confused, once again you just throw it around. You roll around and you let it hang down like that. You see this gap here? We're going to go back around and we're going to go through that gap there. Now we can pull it tight. That's your clove hitch on a vertical. Okay, next one we're going to do is the rolling hitch, which is very similar to a clove hitch. Okay, so you throw it over again. Oh, so this time you just roll it straight around and throw it, throw it over again. Right, so you've gone over there twice. Then now we grab this one and we cross it over now. Okay. Cross there, back there, and just like the clove hitch, we come back through the gap here. Right. And we can pull that tight there. Right, so if you're hauling stuff up, that's not going to slip on you. Okay, we'll do that one again. We're going to throw it over. Roll it around and throw it straight back over. Grab the tail end here, roll it around one more time and cross it over, back over the top. And we come through here. Got that there. And there's your rolling hitch. Okay. Now the next one we're going to do is the bow line. So the bow line, you start off by making a loop in your rope like that. Got to run over the top of that loop, but over the top of the load. Okay. Then you grab this tail end. Right, we get our little rabbit here. He comes up out of his hole, goes around the tree, and back down the hole. Once you've gone back down, you can just hold them two together and pull that one. That will make your bow line. Right, we'll do that again. loop running over the top, over the top, over, over, up through the hole, go around the tree, go back down the hole, hold them two, pull that one. Now I'll show you what happens if you don't put the loop the right way around. Okay? If you've got your loop, it's running under that one to over that one, Right, you're going to come up, you're going to go around and you go back down, and as you see, it's just going to come straight off again. Right. If you make a loop and it is running over, under like that, all you need to do is flip it over that way. So it runs over to over. Away. Come up through the hole, around the tree, back down the hole. Just like that. Alright, a couple of ways people make it harder for themselves. They'll make this loop way too big, they'll throw it over and they'll pull too much rope through. They sort of get lost as to what's what. So I'll keep the hole nice and small and we bring up just enough to go around there and back down. If I pull too much through, then people sort of get lost as to where they're going. Just not going up, 
walk around, yeah, hold them two, and pull that one. Okay, so that's your bow line. Now the last one we're going to do is the sheet bend. Now the sheet bend is used for joining two ropes of different diameter. Okay, so we can make a loop just like that in one end of it. We get our other rope, goes up through there, underneath everything. Okay, and I'm holding this up because that's where I'm going to put the rope back through there. Right. If we pull that tight, you can see it joins the two ropes. Okay, now a common mistake people make on this is they end up doing a reef knot. So if you go up around there, and if you go back down the hole like that, get a reef knot like that. Okay, that's not what we're looking for, we're looking for a sheet bend. So instead of going back down the hole, you go back under the rope here grab all four and pull it tight. Okay, so let's do that again. So go up through there, under there, and under there. There you go, and that's your sheet bend. Okay, used for joining two ropes of different diameter. Okay, so there are your dogging knots there. Right, so stay tuned and we'll be back with some rigging knots for you later on.